Now, with tougher border restrictions set to come into effect in a few hours, Scotland's Transport Secretary says it's absolutely critical the UK closes a loophole allowing overseas passengers arriving in Scotland via English airports to avoid hotel quarantine. The Conservatives describe the Scottish Government's policy as shambolic. It doesn't help anyone if we have this sort of two-tier system within the UK, uh, completely created by the SNP government. Uh, it seems to me that they need to sort out how the Scottish end of things is going to work. Good evening. Today is the last day passengers can fly to Scotland without quarantining in a hotel. From tomorrow, all arrivals landing in a Scottish airport have to stay in a designated hotel for 10 days at a personal cost of over £1,700. But there's concern a loophole in the system could undermine the new rules, as Brandon Cook reports. This is the long-awaited return leg of what was meant to be a short family Christmas visit to France for Alexandra and Emma Rose. I'm glad to be back, but uh, like, I'm sad to like, leave all the like, family and friends. But uh, if I had known uh, the stress and stuff that it's caused, uh, I don't think we would have went and seen Alex's family at Christmas time. The couple are among the final group of passengers avoiding managed isolation. For those returning to Scotland from tomorrow, no matter the location, they will have to go into a 10-day quarantine in a hotel near to the airport. The £1,750 cost would have been unaffordable for the pair. If we didn't uh, get our flight today, uh, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to come back. The tougher COVID rules are yet another step in the attempt to control the virus. I think that if we can get the system right, it will be clearly important, particularly as we get case numbers even lower than they are. But there's one glaring loophole. Whilst travellers coming back from any country to Scottish airports like this one in Aberdeen will have to quarantine at a nearby hotel for 10 days at their own expense. In England, only travellers arriving back from one of the 33 red list countries will have to do the same, sparking real concern those wishing to come to Scotland will simply fly to England, then travel north. What we've asked the UK government to do is that if they are not prepared to take the comprehensive approach that the Scottish government is prepared to do, or we are, or we are taking forward, is that at the very least, individuals who enter into English airports and they are then travelling on to Scotland, is that they should be required to use quarantine hotels in England before they're able to, able to travel on to Scotland. With just one day to go, the Scottish Government say details on how the new rules will work in practice are still under review. Brandon Cook, STV News.